he, he was awesome uh, and, and really impressive how he went about it um, with really only one difficult inning. They made him work, but, um, you know, he's so fun to, to watch pitch when he, when he can control contact the way he does, the ball's on the ground. Uh, what was it, 18 outs, I think, were on the, on the ground counting the double play. It was uh, just an exceptional performance by him. He's fun to watch. It's easy to, uh, to see, you know, why he's one of the elite pitchers in the league and, and he fields his position well. He, uh, he did just about everything right. Strikeouts, but was this the best his changeup spin since he came back? You think? Yeah, I think it's the most convicted he's been in his changeup, uh, which is a good sign. You know, they load the lineup up with with righties, the one left-handed hitter in, so he's going to have to find a way, um, you know, to take some 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 velocity off the ball. I thought it was also the best movement he's had, um, you know, uh, since he's been back. So it's you combine his ability to 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 move the ball around and move the ball move the the, the ball inside the zone. Uh, combine that with the front back part of the changeup. He's, you know, he was exce exceptional. He's that sharp. How much of a role do you think it plays in how well the infield is played defense? Well, you still have to stay in the game uh, for a couple reasons. I mean, one is the ball. The ball's gonna be put in play quickly in, in at bats. When when they're when he's throwing strikes like this, the hitters come up in swing mode and they're they're trying to get the ball elevated. They're, it's hard to lay off of the late movement that he has, and the ball's gonna be put in play. The other the other part of it is it's generally not gonna be hit very hard. You see them, all the plays that Bregman played, the plays that, that Marwin made, um, even Yuli you know, on, on a couple inside out swings. Um, you've got to be active to, to play infield behind Keuchel. And, and we know it, he knows it, and he does a good job of, of keeping his infielders in the game. Bregman's overall all game tonight. Just uh, he was going to get a lot of chances at third, and then he, he hits the homers. Yeah, no, I mean, he was, he was a big difference maker on defense. You know, obviously the home run was, was key to, to ignite us, and he had a couple good at-bats. But, um, you know, without his defense tonight, it could have been, it could have been a tougher night uh, on Dallas just to conserve his pitch count, to, to make the outs that he's going to make. Um, and, and, and those aren't easy plays. He makes it look easy to throw on the run like that and, and, and some of the uh, in-between hops that he gets when, when Dallas is getting the ball off the barrel. But, um, you, know, he was, you know, he was obviously – you know, very good on both sides of the ball, and and uh, you know, without with all due respect, to Chapman was the best third baseman in the building, which is something that that, that Bregman loves. It's obviously a sense of urgency for you when you're using Giles for multi inning saves, but do you think it, it builds his confidence further that he can go into a dugout and come back out and still get the job? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I you know, I've said that the last six weeks are going to be all hands on deck, and obviously, I don't want to make too much of a habit too early of of using. You know Giles in that way, but when the game dictates it, it's it's every bit his responsibility to come in and, and get the outs. And and the way he's been in, in this week when we've put him in uh, in the eighth inning is is very conservative with his pitches. You know he's gotten double plays, and that that helped us make a decision to get to leave him in the ninth inning, and he can get the um, you know finish out the game. He's he's one of the best relievers we have. I haven't used him uh, a ton this season. If you look at the closer usage, he's he's got. Um, he's got some things left in his tank, which is good because we're going to need it. He's been dominant now for a couple of months, but when you kind of separate his early in the season versus the last couple of months, what, is it just fastball command that there comes from him? And the confidence in his fastball too. You know, he, he's got a great breaking ball as well. And, and you know, 99-100 tonight is hard to hit. And he had some finished fastballs tonight, which were good. Um, you know, he came in and, 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 and really got after hitters with strike one, which is, which is always key. Um, you know, I know he fell behind in the in the ninth inning on the first hitter, but uh, his command of his fastball, his conviction in his fastball, um, he's got the, the slider in his back pocket whenever he wants it. He gets a lot of funny swings on that. Um, but there there's a there's a there's an aura about him when he's when he has this kind of command, and the hitter knows it, the pitcher he knows it as a pitcher, um, and he knows who's in in charge. Did you just have a bad feeling about Devo at that time? We just thought it was time to get him out. Not really bad feeling about Devo. You know, we've got to get him back going again and being that same aggressive mindset that we that we just complimented Giles with. Um, you know, Devo has that when he's going well. And, you know, he pitched a little tentatively to Joyce, walked himself into hitter's count. Um, and then, you know, 3, -0, 3 nothing lead, 3-2, he's going to throw a fastball. Everybody in the ballpark should know that. Uh, he elevates it. Then he has the tough at bat with Maxwell. Um, they pinch at Olsen. Olsen's got a ton of power. And, and at that juncture, just the, the way the inning was going, as soon as Giles was ready, I was going to bring him in. And that's not a knock on Devo by any means. He's going to be huge for us down the stretch. But it's, um, it was time to go to, go to Ken.